Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest XI where we are currently sitting in the beautiful Snarfelt campsite in our Snarfelt area on our way to the Hex Wood. In the last episode we explored the Royal Library, quite a long uh, little bit of uh, exploration than I thought it would be, but it was really really fun. What I did off camera is I changed everybody's equipment, as you can see, Falcon Blade 3, Steel Blade 3, Dracene and Helm plus 3, Dracene and Armor plus 3. I found that you can, you can even smith items that are not um, on the list, so like the Falcon Blade, I don't have a Falcon Blade recipe, but I can smith the Falcon Blade that I already have. I then uh, smith everybody's equipment to plus 3, so if anyone had a plus 1 or plus 2, I made a plus 3. As you can see on our boy uh, Salvando, he got a bunch of plus 3s. I also made him the Queen's Whip plus 3 since we had already made one. Off camera I thought it would be fine to make one off camera, uh, or we made one on camera I mean. I thought it would be fine to make him a Queen's Whip off camera. So looking fabulous with his Queen's Whip Salvando. Uh, plus 3s for Serena, plus 3s for Veronica. Plus threes for Rab, plus threes for Steven. So everyone got plus three everything basically. So if they had any equipment that wasn't plus three, I made it plus three. But what I did find out, and as we go look here, I'm just going to show it quickly, but I'm not going to do it, I'm just going to show it off. You can go to rework items, and you can go to any inventory. So for instance, this trident we got from the C. Um, from the C quest, the Nordicus quest for the song, we can go here, we can throw it in the thing with some pearls. And then we can rework it. So, double bash, double bash, double bash, double bash, singular bash, singular bash, singular bash, singular bash. And I think we can get away with one lightning bash. Yeah, that looks fine. And finish and this should be now a plus three spear remember this was a spear we got on a quest it was a reward this is not a recipe spear we did not have a recipe for the spear but perfection the gracious trident that was being carried by jade has been reworked to gracious trident plus three so we just took an item that we had got through a quest we didn't have a recipe for this at all and we just upgraded it so now jade has a plus three trident which means her damage has gone through the roof because it obviously does more than the original plus two trident. A good place to see the example is if you go to the Falcon Blade, it gives plus 60 attack right now, but if we equip a normal Falcon Blade, we'd only get plus 45. So making a normal Falcon Blade to a plus three Falcon Blade gives it 15 extra attack, five extra attack for every plus. So plusing your weapons or plusing your items that aren't recipes are very worthwhile for us. Obviously, because it makes our weapons better. I have one last thing I want to do before I go on, and that's I want to make a winter wing boomerang for Steven, because I feel like Steven's never getting new equipment. So, before we go on with the game, let's quickly do a fun forge for our boy Steven and make him a nice, pretty boomerang. Now, we can't use a card, that looks like a number one, by the way. We can't use a Kodra bash because there isn't an option for a Kodra bash. We're just going to use a couple of double bashes now. What about a nice, what about a nice triple whammy over here? Beautiful. Nice little bash here. We lost a little bit there, so let's go for a double whammy here to make up for it. Ooh, that went way over. So we really messed up the boomerang a little bit. That went way over too. So right now, as you can see, I'm making the world's worst boomerang ever. But it's okay. And the game was very kind to me. And they fixed up my boomerang mistakes I made for me. It was very kind. So we went from having a broken boomerang with a little bit of magic and a little bit of luck to getting a probably plus one, I think plus two boomerang is what we should get out of here for our boy Steven. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, perfection! A plus three boomerang. How lucky is that, guys? So we messed up two areas, but because of magic, they reset two of those areas for us and we got a perfect plus three boomerang for our boy Steven. So that's very, very nice of the game. Thank you very much. So we can leave. And let's equip our boy Steven. Finally, you get a new thing. You, I, I felt so bad. Everyone else keeps getting new stuff, but our boy Steven, he never gets anything new. He's kind of just always stuck with the same old, same old. But now he has a nice new boomerang. So I'm actually going to go line up. I'm going to take Jade out and put Steven in. And I'm going to take Savanda out and put Vonica in. And um, actually, I want Savanda in. Let's put Savanda in instead of Vonica. 
Nah, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it like this. I see. I realize that the others are a bit too high level. So let's rest up until dawn and let's head out. So as you can see, you can you can actually rework your equipment you already have, even if you don't have recipes for equipment. It's not only recipes you have made that can be reworked. All items can be reworked. So that's pretty cool. One last one remains. That sucks for me, game. Because suddenly there is a target that I had missed and I'm not going to bother looking for it right now because I'm way too lazy. So we are going... Wait, where the fuck am I? Oh, I'm at the campfire. Interesting, I, I didn't realize I was at the campfire. So we've actually got quite a ways to go. Hmm. We actually have quite a ways to go to get to where the Hexwood is. I thought I was at the other one for some reason. I thought I was at the inn. I didn't realize I was at the campfire. Obviously I was at the campfire. Because you can only teleport to campfires. You cannot teleport to inns. So my bad on that one. Um, let's quickly make our way up. A minute or so lost. But I guess it's okay for the, the entertainment. Let's fight this Ursa Bear. See how much stronger we are with our new plus three equipment on everybody. We have a plus three falcon sword. We have a plus three... Whip on our boy, um... Mm, I mean, it's not necessary. We have a plus three Falcon Blade, we have a plus three Whip on our boy Salvando, we have a plus three Weapon on Jade, we have a plus three Winter, a uh, Wyvern Wand on Serena. Just all, all in all, like, we are much stronger than we are. What is that? Damage game! You can't do 169 damage to a fucking person in one attack. Holy shit, 169 motherfucking damage. You wanna see 169 damage, baby? Let's go. I believe, Jade. Revenge! 225 damage, Mr. Ursa Bear. What do you say about that? Uh, nothing. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, Mr. Ursa Bear. That's what I thought. Okay, so we're on our way to the Hexwood. Let's make our way there. There's one more target somewhere in these icy plains, but I'm not going to worry about that for now. We are heading to the Hexwood. Dun, da, da, da. The scary, scary Hexwood where the witch has frozen everyone with her cold blood in her veins and her icy, icy breath. Dude, I don't, I don't want to be rude, but what are you doing here? I mean, I know what I'm doing here, but what the fuck are you doing here? What in the world is a civilian doing here? This forest is extremely dangerous. I'd advise you leave immediately. What am I doing here? I am a soldier from Heliodor. We were dispatched to investigate why all the contact from Snuffheim had been lost. It seems the city was frozen by an evil witch, and she and her monstrous protector are at large somewhere in this forest, which is why you shouldn't be here. Um... Do you know I'm the dark one? So it means we have a a tiny chance of encountering um, Jasper or um, Hendrik in this area. It's definitely a possibility. Why is that only a one person attack? My main character needs an AoE attack. I mean, my main character is actually the most balanced character I have, so I don't know what I'm talking about, but. Party pooper! Hey. Why is Jade such a party pooper, guys? Did I don't I do know. All right. You did amazing, Serena. You did amazing in nothing! Do <laughs> Avalanche. Dun, dun. If you want to fight me, if you guys want to fight me, I will fight you. If you do not want to fight me, I will not fight you. That is my rule. That is. It would be cool if you could have fallen in the water and lost like HP or something. That would have been great. A little exclamation pops up above my head. I fall in the water. I lose some HP because I froze. That would have been cool. But alas, they did not choose to do that in this game. I do feel like they did that in another Dragon Quest game. I don't know why, but my my heart tells me it's so. Mm -hmm. 
Dude, go stand in this cave. It will be slightly warmer than it is outside. I promise you. I don't know why it works like that. It just does. Ooh. So cold. My captains were caught. My squad was caught in a snowstorm. And before I knew it, I was all on my own. I hope they find me before the speaking witch does. I'm sure she will. Hello, Drake. It's not a Drake. It's a uh, Drake mage. And an orc. These are like really early game enemies. Trackma past Kasnus. It's literally Trackma and an orb. Are you serious? These are like way early game enemies. This is like. This is like freaking. Uh, where were these enemies? These were enemies who were in like. Uh, Dungeon That's ages ago. We win again. Trackman has dropped a thing. We got a gold ring for free. Okay. This is great, guys. We don't actually have to move. We can just slide. Slide. It's like an escalator. This is a very bad one because you have to move to make it work. But it's okay. We found a permis now. I'm not going to fight you, dude. It's fine. You can survive. It's okay. For the hex wood. It was so scary and evil with frozen people. It's a very nice place so far. Ah, uh, excuse me? Okay, oh, I can get there from the other side. And so far it's very calm. There's not many monsters here. The monsters here aren't very strong. So far so good. I'm having a great time. Finally past his headed door at night like he doesn't know what's even happening, but... Have a bunch. We have traveled all the way from Helidor to come to Snuffleheim's aid. The witch who froze the city is somewhere in this forest. If we can cut her down, it may break us well. Unfortunately, our squad has become separate in this blasted blizzard and the commander is nowhere to be found. He is a knight beyond compare, but like all men of Helidor, he feels the cold. Is it Hendrik? Why <sighs> must I be dragged to these black... These bleak backwaters I in the sky of one of the most noble houses of Helidor. I knew it was a mistake joining the army. But only I had ignored everyone's advice and followed in the footsteps of my rag. Of a father, I could be sitting on a beach in Costa Valor right now watching the girls go by. You should have listened to your father, dude. There's a chest of here? Yes. Got a seed of agility. Kind of a boring chest, but okay. You know, seeds are important. Eventually, I'm gonna want these seeds, I think. Oh, I can make it through here. Cool. I didn't actually think I could. I thought I had to go around, but I'm gonna go around anyway. It's just cool that I could actually make it through there. Hello, Drakimas. Drakima. Drakima? Drakimom. Gotta go past the ice path. No, I'm not fighting you, little d dragon slimes. What's up, dude? I knew you, don't I? I'm sure I've seen your face before. Yes, somewhere. Something about you is very funny indeed, but I can't quite place it. Well, never mind. I have more important matters to attend to at present, like finding the commander. Post haste. Where is your commander? He has fled. Jumping finds the recipe of platinum protection. He looks inside and learns how to make platinum platters, platinum shields. Well, actually, I wouldn't mind a platinum shield. I'm using a steel shield, and in this game thinks platinum and gold are better than steel for some reason even though gold is really weak and it would not make a great shield because it's soft but uh, you know I didn't make the game ooh, ooh, item. a little bit of permis now a little bit of lucida shard ooh I've never had a lucida shard before that's a brand new item hello orkies what's up I guess it makes sense that orcs are there they're full of fur and fur keeps you nice and warm and the cold winter tonight Sage's Alexa, that's just a lot of MP, which we don't really care about too much. Because MP in this game is pointless. All the eight, uh, MP restorative stuff. Whoa! It's a blue orc! All the other orcs are brown, but it's blue! A group of orc kings appear. How are they orc kings? Wouldn't they just be an orc king? Why are they all kings plural? I feel like they should just be all king singular. 
multi thrust did so much damage. It's insane. Oh, don't worry, Jay's gonna learn multi thrust one day, and you guys are fudged. Haha, uh -huh, you don't have enough mana because that's a good with Serena. La 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 la. Or King Chop's chest, we get a magic beast hat. See, I thought ahead. I took away all his mana, so he could not cast Sing. Because I knew he was going to cast Sing, the mother effer. Okay. Hello, Drakmas. What's up? Just want to get this item piece. Took. We got a Platinum Ore. Beautiful. Blue Eye. Beautiful. And Gold Ore. Beautiful. The Platinum Ore is actually very useful because... A. There's a lot of Platinum items in this game. And B. Uh, we use platinum for a lot of stuff. I want to fight the blue one. I discriminate against blue and brown orcs. Boom. Or basic orcs and orc kings. I only speak to nobility. I do not speak to the common folk. What do you mean you're casting? I just killed them and you bring them back. That's so mean. He gets killed and you bring him back to die again. <laughs> oh, that poor little boy. Got credit for 227, baby. I'm enjoying this area quite a lot actually. <laughs> I don't know what it is about this ice area, but I really like it. Okay, so we made our way to the church, aka the save point. I don't know if it's going to be a church, probably just an angel, but yeah, just an angel. Since they gave me an angel, I will be smart to use the angel. Not that I'm going to need it, but uh, as they say, safe than sorry, better safe than sorry. Just now I don't use it, and then that's the one time we fight a boss that actually can kill me. And I'll go game over. And that would be hilarious. Character builder. Nope. Wait, Serene, uh, our girl. Jay should have had a trillion points. Why does Jay not have a trillion points? What did, what did I do? Why do you have so many points in your fisticuffs, woman? You shouldn't have so many points in your fisticuffs. You all your points in the spears. I deliberately set this up. Oh, I guess I gave you the strength. Yeah, I think I gave you the strength. Mm, that was my bad. Yeah, I fucked up. I'm sorry. No, no, I didn't. I got the strength so we could learn that, that lightning thrust. I remember now. I remember now. The game thought I forgot. I didn't forget. I've never forgot a thing in my life. I just want to point out this blizzard was not here a second ago. Am I alone? Are you serious? The party became separated in the snowstorm. Are you fucking kidding me? We'll go find them then, obviously. I can't do it by myself. Or oh, maybe that's the point. Maybe I'm supposed to fight the boss by myself. Let's go. Let's go, I believe. Oh, it's going to be Hendrik, the commander. It's going to be Hendrik or Jasper. I'm going to have to fight them one-on-one. -on -one, 101. Mano y mano. That's what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. I understand. It's a very pretty uh, idea. <laughs> Maybe not. It is Hendrik. I freaking knew it. Oh, it's one of these things. Ba -ba -ba -bam. Looks like he's having fun. You will not keep me from the witch beast. Yield! Dark spawn here. Oh, you took the enemy of your opponent, Dendrick. That's what you get. How could I be so foolish? It's got age, man. You're getting old. Yeah. This thing's adorable. 
It's so cute. I want one of these. Chorom, Chomam, Chomam, Chosnia. How should we handle him? Uh, let's start with a little bit of a uh, flame slash. Nice. Okay, damage. How about a little bit of falcon slash double damage? Beautiful. That was a snowball. I block with my shield though. <laughs> oh crap. Dude, he's adorable. Lol. Dude, this is easy. What is Hendrix running? Right? Hendrix is very weak apparently. There's a jolly jig. Jo -jo 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 -jo. Defense increased. Okay, so he's increased, he's increased his defense and his attack, but he's dead, so it doesn't matter. That was very easy. Joman is defeated. Chapter 2, 240 experience and 290 gold points. I feel sorry for her. Oh, shame! He did nothing wrong. You have served your mistress well, but your day is done. Don't you kill it, Hendrik! Oh! <gasps> No, guys, that is so mean. Now it is your turn, Darkspawn. You will not escape me this time. Dude, the witch is pissed off. We just killed her friend. Oh, there you are. And that's what we get. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> what a pleasure to finally meet you, Sir Henry. Ooh, sexy voice. Damn you, witch. Is this your doing? She's so cute. Nothing personal, my pretty. But I promised the one who released me that I'd freeze you in your tracks. A lovely little trinket. It's just like his. We shall make such a captivating couple. Matching necklaces and all. What? Oh, more questions. You so called heroes are nothing but talk. It's time to put you two on ice forever. She's so cute! Veronica! Yeah! Fire trumps ice, boys and girls. Are you alright? Isn't Jade cold in that outfit? Well, no. Sir Hendrik. You'll be in charge of this party of foreign soldiers we heard about. The ones Queen Frisabel sent. <sighs> Leaving so soon? Sure you don't want to round us up and throw us in jail? Oh, I will. All in good time. I'm very confused right now. Whose necklace was it? Was it Jasper's necklace? Oh, I'm passing out, boys. Huh? Oh. Uh, he's freezing cold. Ah. That spell must have really taken its toll. And that was, uh, guess it. We passed a hut on the way here. Let's carry him there. Why is it just a random hut? Don't go. Is it a candy hut? Is it a candy cane hut? If it's a candy cane hut, run away. Because it's the witch's hut, and she's gonna fatten you up, and she's gonna eat your ass. Okay, I I read these fucking stories when I was a child. I know how this stuff works. I think this is my first rodeo. Amber, our hero's adopted mother, and Chucky's adoring daughter. After her dad died, she raised a little luminary all on her own, and she crows. And I could not read the rest of it, but I'm pretty sure it was gonna be only amazing stuff because Amber's awesome, and we love Amber lots and lots and lots. That's just how it works. Okay, so without further ado, let's leave this hut. Oh wait, this is the hut we were just in. 
So this guy's hot. Ah, so you are finally awake. Are you feeling better, friend? Yes, but I feel sorry for Jure. Jure did nothing wrong. Good, good. You have your companions to thank for that. Such caring comrades are a rare gift. Ah. Uh. Ah, but forgive me, I have not introduced myself. I am Snorri, scholar of the arcane arts. I came here to investigate the origins of the Wicked Witch, who froze Sniffelheim solid. It was luck, and luck alone, that caused me to be away from the city when she first appeared. Or I, too, would have been turned into an icy statue. Your friends tell me the Queen has asked you to eliminate the sorceress. If it will help you in your quest, I will be happy to share what I have learned. The witch's name is Kristalinda. Long ago, in the Age of Heroes, a mighty mage imprisoned her within the pages of an enchanted grimoire. The book was hidden away safely in the Royal Library, an ancient archive built by the founders of Sniffelheim to house the combined knowledge of all humankind. Having learned this, I tried to go and see the book for myself. Are you kidding Alas, me right now? The library was swarming with monsters, and I was forced to retreat. I blame everybody but myself for this. Oh, hello. Up and about, are you? Thank goodness for that. Indeed. You are well on the way to recovery thanks to your young friend here. It is plain to see that Veronica cares for you very deeply. Oh, thank you, Veronica. Put a sock in it, Snorri. <laughs> there is no need to be embarrassed, my dear. Anyway, your timing is perfect. I had just finished telling your friend all I had learned about the witch. I'll get straight to the point then. We're taking Snorri here back to the library so he can look for clues on how to beat her. It is high on a plateau to the east of here, but we must make our way around to the south before we can reach it. Shall we? Can I just teleport there? Please tell me I can just teleport there. That would save me a lot of effort. Considering I've already been there. Can I teleport there? You're gonna do me dirty, aren't you, game? You doing me dirty, aren't you? Okay, so we have to run all the way around to the freaking library. Because now it unlocks as the library, but before that, they were like, no, we're not gonna lock it as a library. But before that, we're gonna go to the Hexwood. Because I wanna explore the last section where Drew was. Because I wanna see if there's any items there or stuff like that. So I want to get to that section, a quick export. Then I'll come back and I'll make my way to the library. In the next episode, we'll do the library again, I guess. I mean, am I going to do it again though? Or am I just going to like run in there and finish in three seconds flat? Because I've already done it. So I definitely do not need to do it again. No, Dracima, no! This tracking me every time. Have he knows I'm just trying to make my way slowly through the area, just peacefully through. But no, Dracken has have to put my entire party to sleep. Oh my word! Please flee! Please flee! No, you're supposed to flee, you fool! He's a fool. He could have survived and he could have well, fled like an innocent man, but no. Oh, Batwing out of it. That's kind of a rare item, actually, so I'm kind of happy about that. See, I want to get to that top section. I didn't get to explore the top section. Did they really make me save for the Jur fight? I mean, come on, let's be honest. The Jur did what? Like two damage to me in that whole freaking fight? I wasn't even close to that, by the way. I don't know. This is some bull fucking shit. Like I don't, I don't think I was even 
close to these Pokemon matches. Dude, that was damage! Hey, I don't have an arch in this party. There's no arches in this game. That sucks. I want arches, man. Angela could have been an arch in Drinkers 8. Archers are great. Victory! Are you, my favorite character in Atelier Ferris is an archer. No desire to fight you guys. Is that sparkling? Is it sparkling? Sparkling? Not sparkling. Okay. Had not reset yet. No, I don't want to fight the Drachimus. Drachimus? Disappear. Okay, so there's a little bit of a dead end here, nothing's here. Not even a target, not a chest, not a sparkle, not a nada. Nada game! That's not cool, man. At least give me something. I'm all this way for nothing. Okay, let's make our way to the Royal Library Mark II. I still think the story of Tetsu was very sad, but that's just me. There's still one more target we have to find here, by the way, in case you guys see it. Let me know in the comments below so that I know where the frick it is because I haven't seen it. So I do not know that. I do not know where this last one is. I still wonder what's up with that symbol. Oh, there it is. Boom. Got it. You guys can still let me know in the comments that I'm blind as fuck. And say you saw it ages ago and you cannot believe it took me that long to see it. Well, in that case. Let's zoom back. <laughs> we got like a minute, right? I think. Hello. Impress the most impressive not one single target. Escape the pinpoint accuracy of your bow. Take the prize. Earn it, you have. What luck, Jabba Jigga has four springs of a breast. Pretty, uh, pretty Betsy. Two times show each and every target. Truly a marksman. Master marksman. You must be. To the master of Galapagos, I will report your success. Without delay, inform my world. Snarf out sniper. What if hitting every single bullseye in? Snarf out. Okay, so what do we want to do? We want to not do that. I'm gonna do this. Dun, dun, dun. You know it was so easy to find the targets here by the way in case you guys are running how did he find the targets in this area, but he couldn't find the targets in the other areas? Well, this area is white! Okay? It's very white. And the targets are big red and brown dots. It's very easy to see in a big white area. But in a very sandy brown area like Galopolis, or a very tree green rich area like the islands and the uh, greener areas, it's much harder to see. But for now, we're going to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button. It's super duper awesome episode, and I really appreciate it, of course. If you guys haven't, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It really does help a lot. And I super, um, bleh, I'm happy every time I see my subscription number go up. So if you guys want to help support the channel, hit that subscribe button. Last but certainly not least, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next episode of Dragon Quest 11, where we will be going into the Royal Library for the second time, but this time for the actual story related reasons. For now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time with more Dragon Quest 11.